Rick, Gary, and Billy return to the triangle-shaped swamp to unearth additional sections of the believed man-made stone ramp. So I think what we'll do is let's try to follow this path. If we can make a positive relationship between the paved area to the ramp, the ramp to the stone path, then the next step would be try to somehow connect the stone path to something. Right. Let's start digging. Having moved several yards northeast from their previous search location, Rick, Billy, and Gary are digging in drier ground in the hopes of determining if the ramp actually does connect the 800-year-old paved area to the nearby stone pathway. It's up. And also, if it contains any important clues or valuables. Oh, look at that. Oh, look at that. Yeah, I didn't even take a step. Billy, hold up. Straight out the bucket. <laughs> what have we got here? The first sweep, first artifact. <laughs> Straight out. It's an horseshoe, a lucky horseshoe, I hope. Been in the ground a long time, that's what I think. Yeah. It wouldn't have that much corrosion on there. Yeah, it really is. A small horseshoe found on the stone ramp in the triangle-shaped swamp? If so, was it simply discarded here? Or could it have been dropped during the construction of the feature? And what is, is it just misshapen or is that side smaller than that, um, that broken? I would imagine it's misshapen. I don't know. Hopefully, Cam and Leg will be able to shed some light on that mm -hmm. and tell us how old it is. Well, uh, why in the swamp? Um, if you're coming to the island and back in the day by boat, you would have had a small horse on a boat. You don't have large horses on boats. Could Gary be correct that this shoe belonged to a horse that came to Oak Island? on a large sailing vessel. If so, might it be related to the various fragments of ships that the team has found in the swamp over the past several years? Or the pieces of cargo barrels that were also found in this area, which blacksmithing expert Carmen Lake believes could date back as early as the 15th century. Might be something special about this horseshoe. Brilliant start. Good start, that's yep. for sure. Oh, we are really hot to trot. <laughs> I knew there was one coming. <laughs> After all these years, I still believe the swamp has secrets. Oh, that was it. That was good stuff. And the only way to uncover them, unfortunately, is to dig. And given the current discovery conditions, i.e. them being wet, that takes time. I mean, all these logs and sticks, Hard to believe this was always wetland. Yeah. Say that's down in the original swamp layer. Kind of looks like it. How far above the water are you? My foot. I leave it up to you to decide the width of it. But I think probably that stone and those alder bushes, I wouldn't go any wider. No, I, I, I think that's the limit of the ramp anyway. We'll see, but. Huh. Let's keep digging. Yep. The following morning. Come on, mate. Thanks for coming out. You're welcome. Billy Gerhardt and Gary Drayton meet with blacksmithing expert Carmen Legg in the research center. Always like to see it, because that means that we've found something really interesting. Well, I hope I can tell you something about it. They are eager to get Carmen's assessment of the horseshoe that was recovered one day ago on the stone ramp in the swamp. Look at well, that. Well, it's certainly a horseshoe, isn't yeah. it? Yeah. Let me have a look at this. It's not very corroded, so um, you'll notice that the uh, top of the shoe is quite thick, and then it comes down quite yeah. narrow like that. Usually when you see that, it indicates a very old shoe. Also, you'll notice that the shoe is very short. It's not a draft horse shoe. It's more like a riding horse or a cavalry uh, horse. This, I can say safely, is the oldest horseshoe I've seen so far. <laughs> the plot thickens. <laughs> then it's not consistent all the way around, so it's an old handmade shoe. I would go back to the 
1400s. But who, who would bring a riding horse to an island? Everything came to the island by boat, and there would have had to have been someone in charge of all these constructs, and they would have been riding a horse like yeah. this, probably. Yeah, that's, that's certainly true. Now, the shortness of the shoe, it makes the horse stand up prouder. Mm. It was for a high prestige horse, you know, something yeah. that you want to um, give a commanding presence when yeah. you rode this horse. You know, this is found along the edge of the stone path, and some of the construction techniques are similar to stuff that the guy saw in, in Portugal. Yeah. The stone path looks exactly like this. One year ago, while visiting Alcadal de Serra, Portugal, where the Knights Templar were known to have maintained a stronghold between the 12th and 16th centuries. It looks similar to what we have, that's for sure. Yeah. Rick Lagina and members of the team saw a Roman road that was nearly identical to the one that was uncovered in the swamp back in 2020. There is no known recorded visits by horses here in Nova Scotia before 1670. Hmm. Wow. Could Billy Gerhardt's notion that this horseshoe is potentially related to the stone road be correct? If so, might it not only help explain how the Roman coin and token came to be on Oak Island? I mean, don't tell the story, and it, it is very old. But also be another key clue in identifying just who was behind the 228-year-old mystery. I am surprised that Carmen has indicated that this horseshoe represents you know, the stylistically uh, from the 1400s. And for Carmen to say something that specific about something he is very familiar with is, is quite extraordinary. If this is from that time period, then we have uh, yeah. rewritten history. Wow. <laughs> that is our lucky horseshoe, yeah, mate. Exactly. 1400s. Brilliant. That's got to be the oldest metal artifact ever to come out of the swamp. It's the oldest horseshoe I've seen in Nova Scotia. And I've seen a lot of shoes. Wow. Dang. Making history, Gary. Yeah, really are. Thank you, Carmen. All this is amazing. Very good. Very All good. Right, mate. Keep bringing stuff to me. We will do, mate. Cheers. <laughs> Thank you.